Ochima Nemie Ogazi Pio. The student of Naval Dockyard Apprentice School. Uh, I hail from Ebony State. The ship I was serving before now was Nigerian Navy ship Sabama. Prior to the nomination of this course, I've never had a knowledge of carpentry, although it's actually a craft I love so much. Now, when I was nominated to this course, I came with all enthusiasm, hoping to achieve a lot from this course. And uh, given the package of the course, I've been able to acquire the necessary skill uh, needed to scale as a carpenter and to also compete with others uh, in the field. The project we have behind me here is a sofa. If you look at the display wall there, you will see what the final product is expected to look like. The project is still at its framing stage and the material used this project is the mahogany and what we call the HDF wood, a high density fiber wood. We also have a shoe rack also designed with a high density fiber, a brown in color. Then this tool here is also made of a high density fiber as well and with some veneerin that gave it the necessary finishing that it needs to look exquisite. Thank you so much. I am ABMEA Francis J.I. serving on board Nava Engineering College. I'm in the carpentry and joinery department. This period I've been introduced to various of the machines. Behind me you can see a, a tenant machine. It's used for grooving and for tenant and for cutting. And this machine gives you precision, better off than cutting manually. You can see a tenant on machine too, which we use for grooving. If you check carefully, you'll see a band machine. Some of those designs that you see, those intricate designs that you see a curve on chairs, these are the machines that are used in cutting it, this band saw. Having informed and to, to an extent I can operate virtually all the machine now, I'm being granted on the operation of this machine. If you am given opportunity, I see myself going into full-time uh, ship interior design. And with that, I want to believe that with a recent development in the Nigerian Navy, that most of the SDB that are yet to be commissioned, we can, we can go into it and give them a perfect interior design that they needed. I am POMA OGJC, serving on board NNS Prosperity, but I'm on course here with the Naval Dockyard Apprentice School, and my department is carpentry and joinery. Before now, I always felt that carpentry was just put the piece of wood together, but with my exposition here for two, three months now, I've been able to see and understand why it is more than that and why it is ca captioned carpentry and joinery. As a piece I used to see before now, they always marveled how did whoever worked on it worked on it. But for this exposition, I've been able to understand that some of these pieces are not actually nailed. There are joints that are formed. And those joints, whether tenets, whether dovetail joints, whatsoever joint it is, we have the machines. And for these few months, we've been able to understand the machine and been able to use those machines. By the time you look at this bed, when you look at it, you will see that the joints are more and they are stronger. My name is LMEA Modi BC. I'm a member of a wedding and fabrication course. We actually started the 25th of April, and here we are today, more than three months ago. And uh, so far, we've been able to learn various aspects of uh, wedding and fabrication. We've learned to use the machines and the equipment, and most especially, the safety aspect of the course. If you look behind me, you'll see work in uh, progress, the things that we've been able to put together with the help of the instructor. I've been able to understand fully how these things are done, and even point out the mistakes that the roadside weather make in the course of their work. So as it is now, I can categorically say that I may not be a professional weather, but I can tell you that I am very good. Uh, more than intermediary level. In the course of the wedding course, I've been able to master how to use the arc wedding machines, the OZI acetylene wedding, and various uh, equipment and machines that are used. I can tell you that I've been able to master the use of these machines. Here at Indas, each student has the opportunity of hands-on tools. Each student has a particular equipment to himself, like you can see the vice abundant in number. Each student can pick any vice and work at any particular time without disrupting the other person. Same applicable to the arc weather. We have them in numbers where each student can work independent of the other. I am Abel Marine Engineering at Saigabo. DO. I'm here to present to you some of the projects executed so far by the students of this prestigious school in that. By my left are coffee table, there are two. And by my right is office decks. They are both designed 
to international standards. It is their project actually conceived by the commanding officer, Captain SSK Melabari, to the students to test their capability. So the material used for the design are mine steel square pipe. And as you can see the project, the wedding and fabrication section aspect of it has been done, ready for the next section, which is carpentry and joinery section of the school. My name is Simon Marine Engineer Asifisa Ahmed A. I'm a student on board Naval Dockyard Apprentice School, BI. I was currently serving on board MNS Echo. In the year 2020, I was introduced into welding and fabrication during the course of my engineering course on board NNEC Sapele Delta State. Thereafter, then I graduated last year and I was drafted to NNS Echo. Later this year, around August, I was nominated for a course, welding and fabrication, on board Naval Dockyard Apprentice School, BI. During the course of our training and lecture, we have been educated both theoretically and practically on welding and fabrication. And we have been acquainted with the use of various welding and fabrication tools used for welding and fabrication. Some of the welding and fabrication equipment and tools that we have been abreast with are the welding machine, the grinding machine, the burning torch, which makes use of oxygen and propane or maintain gas for cutting. What we have here is called a double deck bunk in the sense that it has two beds, the upper side and the lower side. It can be used on board in various ways, probably in boarding schools, training institutions, so on and so forth. This double deck bunk is constructed with my steel metal and the joining process in making this double bunk is welding. And the benefit of this welding bunk is to save space in the sense that it can accommodate two persons without using much space. The objective of the Naval Dockyard Apprentice School was basically to produce artisans and technicians for the Naval Dockyard Limited and other Nigerian Navy maintenance facility. And fortunately for the school, we had two sets of specialization to commence with initially when the program was inaugurated on the 13th of May 2022. Uh, we started with uh, welding and fabrication as well as carpentry and joinery. Initially, when these uh, under training ratings came in, most of them basically had no experience apart from the on-the-job training they had received in the Navy and uh, other basic professional training that they had received. But they had no specific training in the field of welding and fabrication as well as carpentry and joinery. So when they came in, we took them first. They had collective courses together where they studied uh, computer-aided design, workshop safety, communication skills, measurement and instrumentation, as well as first aid. On completion of these uh, collective courses, it was to provide a foundation for the elective courses for the various specialization. And thereafter, we separated them into their specialization. And gradually, they began to pick up through lectures, discussions, videos, uh, industrial visits, as well as practical sessions with the instructors. Along the line, as they began to become competent and proficient in their field of studies, uh, we began to let them have assignment as well as uh, allow them to produce mini projects so as to give them confidence in their chosen field of specialization. And as time went by uh, till the point where we are today, which is uh, their graduation. Uh, they've executed projects both individually and collectively as a team. Both the welding and fabrication combining together with the carpentry and joinery have been able to produce projects. Uh, some of the projects include beddings, cabinets, as well as furnishings. Uh, ideally, they were basically supposed to concentrate on ships, equipment, and component but since we are not currently engaged in building any ship neither is the naval dockyard limited i would decided to isolate these components so that they can be produced in isolation without being integral part of the ship uh, these components like i said before now include a kitchen cabinet wall clock 
that will serve as artifact and could be used on the ship as well as in offices in the Navy. Uh, we have decorative wall and ceiling lighting and we have the double bunk which is commonly used on board our ships. In fact, uh, some of the templates we are gotten from our uh, uh, sister ship which is in the dock NNS Unity. Furthermore, they were able to produce ship's furniture in the form of center tables, side stools, as well as uh, wood roof cabinet. Additionally, the, the ship, we know that basically most of the components, they are made of steel and the door forms might be a little bit different, but to give them a basic idea of what is required of them on board ship, we've been able to make them produce doors as well as door frame. And basically these are some of the few things we've been able to make them do. However, I'm quick to remind you that this is basically a basic apprenticeship certificate course and all these things we've been able to achieve within four months. Thank you very much.